Hello everyone, Simon2009 Bora here. Welcome to part 5 of my uh, SimCity, um, SimCity tutorial. The new SimCity, SimCity 5 that is. Um, so now we're going to look at expanding the city. I have been working on the Minecraft project but it is tedious so what I've decided to do is I'm going to kind of interlock it, make it span over a bit more. I will get it finished and uploaded but um, so uploads of this are going to be coming slow until then. Uh, I probably won't do any of this tomorrow or Sunday. It's, probably, it's Friday night now. I'm probably going to be looking at mainly well, outside of my personal life project work on Minecraft because I really want to get that done for obvious reasons because um, I think it will get a lot of views. Uh, I don't know who it is and if it were, I knew who it was I wouldn't mention any names anyway. But on part two or three of my tutorial, I think I've had somebody commenting, commenting, saying, basically calling me an idiot for trying to put the train station in before putting the railway lines. Well, I'll say, guys, that in the old Sims, you used to be able to put train stations down and connect them by rail, and that was my plan to put it down and connect it by rail. For obviously, you know, I wasn't going to put a train station down for uh, without without putting a rail. But really, the point I want to make is, and I'm sure that you are not a kind of people to uh, abuse a site and all that, is that you're welcome to watch my videos, but if you comment, please be respectful. You know, I'm not going to abuse you, so don't abuse me. There's no need to make nasty comments, you know, making out that I'm stupid and all that. So I could ask, so I can ask you to be respectful and I'm sure you are respectful people and I'm sure you will be respectful um, so anyway I'm aware we're at um, it's saying that we've got a problem with police we are making a profit we had a nice little payout last time so I'm going to schedule actually I might schedule an event in the big you know, that's closed we close that down of course so I'm going to schedule another event this time I'm going to make it the big one which is going to be cost us 45,000 sim loans and it will bring in a return profit in total of 156,000 so uh, 201,000 is the maximum we can get off this so that's going to be a rock concert we'll arrange that oh look at this it appears we now have a medium wealth business in our city density only appears to come in residence now why are they happy high taxes hmm. that appears to be a bit of a problem for us right now well um that aside what is it fire trucks are an issue well actually what I want to do oops what I want to do the fire is gone now is go back into uh, culture as we have uh, specialised in and see what these do wow that's big so these things they don't actually make us a profit by the look of it so all our profits got to come from our stadium. Well, that's a bit disappointing. Um, 108 storey tall buildings, the tallest building in the United States. Wow, that's all I can say about that. That's a, that is a big building. Um, indeed. Okay then, so we won't go with city specialisation. We've, we've already specialised our city by the look of it. Um, I might be tempted to even put it in a casino and, and, and lean that way a little bit as well. But I'm not making a big gambling city by any means. Um, so it's working. Oh, okay. So that's 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 going to pay us out a bit of money, obviously. We've still got our business. Um, okay, back to the city. Well, let's see what's wrong here. What's going on? I think our problem is uh, we're sitting well, that's ready to respond to fires so um, I'm going to go for it I'm going to go for the next step up in education 
It's a bit dangerous because of the enormous payout uh, every hour. But I think it could work. So, obviously, we can always close buildings down and hope that uh, that, b that has a positive effect on our city as it did last time. With all those things flashing, we need to get rid of all our uh, all our nasty rotten um, abandoned buildings. No point in having them. High taxes appear to be a problem in our city at the minute. But I can't afford to lower them. Okay. I can't afford to lower taxes, I'm afraid. Not yet, anyway. Not until our city's built up a bit more. Right, that should have a positive effect. As you can see, things are getting taller, which is good. Um, things are starting to grow up a bit more, which is what we want. Hey, time flies. Um, oh, another fire. I feel like I'm not really doing anything, but... Hold on a minute. Yes, we are actually starting to have a positive effect. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like I can afford right now to put... Oh, we've already got a health clinic. Maybe to expand our health clinic then. Oops. I'm going to click on that. That's a waiting room. Okay. Put in an ambulance bay because... We can afford one. Okay, that that helps us cover our city a little bit more. Come away from that because it's noisy. When people here are not uh, happy. Taxes are killing businesses. Yeah, it appears that taxes become a massive problem for uh, for us in this city. How's our event doing? Oh, the payout's positive. The payout's positive. That's good. That's what we want. So, yeah, we're making some money on that. That's good. I'm actually going to buy a bullet. I'm going to build a casino. I know I want to specialise in culture, but I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it and build myself... I can't afford that. A gambling hall. A small gambling hall for now. I won't be keeping gambling halls. You know, if there's another casino to be built, and one, an existing one will probably be knocked down. So, um... No, I'm not starting a big gambling business, by any means. I just want to try and make money for the city. So I recommend uh, putting in a gambling hall, whatever, whatever type of city you're trying to make. If you're making a specialisation where you can't get a lot of uh, profitable buildings, like uh, I've picked Culture, where there's only two buildings that can actually make you any money, I recommend putting in a, a, a casino of some sort. Because it will, will help you with your costs. So that's now hiring. Our event is nearly sold out. Looks like it's sold out. So that'll do the city the world of good. Our health services again. Many sick and injured sims. Hmm. Oh dear. We need to put in an extra waiting room. That should uh, that should help the situation. Although it's uh, costing the city more money. It, it is always... Oh, that's my phone. Sorry about that. Um, it's probably my friend. Uh, five minutes left. Okay. Yeah, my friend. She's depressed. Um, I'll have to see to that in a... When I've finished part five here, which will be in... Um, which will be in five minutes. So...
Our gambling house is not making us any profit right now. Revenue is... Well, we've got some. We've got some revenue. Mmm... We're getting there, we're getting there. We're getting there, it's making us some money. As you can see there, that, that green here on the specialisation is what's coming into the city. So yeah, I recommend building profitable buildings such as gambling houses. Even if you're not going to start up that type of sort, uh, or sort of city, the, you know, just to bring in, um, bring in money. And I've already said that, but... Are we doing f education? Okay. Um, plenty of room. Let's check our um, education coverage, actually. I think we can do that. Okay, I'm going to show you the density map. Um, this is a really handy tool. Here we have buildings. Red is likely to move out. Orange is quite happy to move. You know, move out. Yellow's medium. Green is likely to upgrade. Very green is uh, dark green is sort of very likely to upgrade. Not happy and not profitable are going to move out. Happy and profitable are going to move upgrade. As you can see, we have some greens here and some yellows, which is very good. However, some bad reds here we are likely to move out. The darker the blue is, the higher the building density. That's nothing to do with land value. Land value is something completely different. That's this thing. Green is positive, red is negative. How dark it is, is how good it is for, uh, for, for land to uh, of, of certain types to be built there. So what should we go? Ah no, could do with a small police station. So let's put ourselves a small police station in. Just a small one, just to make sure. And um, also, oh, our zones is flashing up. We need more residents, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to build in another square here. Fire blazes are out of control, and zoning. Like I said, zoning costs absolutely nothing. It it's completely free. Come on, stupid thing. Control and click. Another thing we can do to get rid of uh, bad buildings, of course, is to dem demolish the abandoned ones once more. And uh, we can have a look at this. Fire protection. Not a single hotel for me to stay. Guess I'll go home. Okay, so hotels maybe. That may be an issue. Uh, just before we leave uh, this... Trading, trading, trading. Metals, yeah, okay. Apparently we can build hotels. Hmm, what's the thing I've never heard of? Adds a flow of sense, movement, urban, city landscape. It's not a hotel then. Oh, we can make profit on some of these. Oh, we can make profit on this building. Oh, blow my heck. 
That is huge. Awesome. What an awesome way to finish part five. Okay, guys, so this has been Simon 2. I'm going to close it, by the way, just till we make profit. Uh, so this has been Simon 2009 Burra, and uh, once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys over in part six.